so that's why the video was little long but uh, as i said watch this video follow the steps you will have internship opportunities in your fingertips and hello you wonderful people i hope you all are doing great and thanks a lot for showing lots of love on the videos which i have been uploading in the past and these are few of the comments which i saw from my previous videos wherein you wanted to understand how to apply for medical based companies as a fresher how to get job into those companies how to get internships in those companies what kind of skill sets should be there in the resume a lot of queries coming in from you guys so today's video i will be telling you guys how to apply for internships in top medical based companies what are the do's what are the don'ts how to find these companies how to approach these companies how to send your application to these companies everything we will be doing in detail i will be showing it practically so that you can you just have to follow it step by step by watching this video so without further ado let's dive into the video and i hope it will bring a lot of value to you guys okay so first things first I will tell you guys three platforms wherein you can search for internship opportunities as a biomedical engineer or a biomedical engineering student. The first and the foremost and the best platform would be LinkedIn. Now LinkedIn is the most uh, trusted network for professional networking, job seeking and pretty much things like that. So first thing you have to make sure is that your LinkedIn profile is completely optimized and up to date. Everything is in detail. So if if i show you my profile everything is up to date in my profile if someone is coming into my profile they get an idea they get a clear idea as to what my skills are what my uh, work experience is like where all i have worked and pretty much things like that they'll get to know everything about me so make sure that your linkedin profile is up to date before you apply for internships through linkedin so what you have to do is uh, if you don't know how to optimize your LinkedIn profile or how to uh, update your things on LinkedIn, this is the video that uh, I am posting. It's already posted. You guys can just hop into that video. Uh, step by step, follow all the things that I am doing and you will be uh, good to go with your LinkedIn profile. Now, once your LinkedIn profile is ready, what you need to do is basically go for job section. When you click on jobs, it will show you a lot of jobs which are relevant to you or uh, which are uh, recommended to you by LinkedIn. So if you see, I'll just uh, tell you guys with an example of uh, my companies or the things that I have. So what I'll do is uh, first of all, these are the three jobs that LinkedIn is recommending me. Now, obviously Leap is at tech, so I'll cancel it out. Now these two companies are the companies which are, one is a hospital and the other one is a Transasia Biomedicals. I think it's a medical equipment company, uh, in vitro diagnostic sales, IVD sales. So let's go for ICU specialist. Now again, I'm not telling you to apply for these jobs, but this is a clever way to get and crack an internship. So let's see, I, I, I see you specialist, what job it is and how exactly everything is uh, shown there. Okay, so basically cloud physician aspires to be a global virtual hospital, blah, 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 go through the complete thing. Just give it a read. I'm not telling you to go in detail and do research or things like that. Just go to this read it through luckily we have uh if you are interested send your resumes to this and this email id so now we have an email id where we know we how to send this uh, our resume and application but we will not follow that path what we are going to do is cloud physician is a hospital so this specific person is hiring so i will go to her profile manu panwar and she is not in my connection but she is currently working with cloud physicians group of hospital so this is the hospital where she is working right now i'll click on cloud physicians so it will redirect me to the company's page in the company's page i can see there are 18 connections of mine who are connected with this or who are following this page what i need to do or what we need to do is go to the people section so once you open the company's page go to the people section and see if you have any common connections who are working in this company maybe this this specific doctor right here uh, he works in cloud nine hospitals so see basically uh, what i want you to guys what i want you guys to do is basically search for someone who is like a common connection who maybe is working in your dream company or a hospital where you want to join in the future pretty much things like that but i have couple of connections here with few of the doctors now let's say this doctor the specific doctor is head of clinical services at cloud nine group of hospitals you do the same thing and we will just search for cloud nine group of hospitals there's a page open the company's page 
copy the about section right copy the about section come back to chat chat gpt clear the old one put the new one and then you can just hit enter and it will give you an email make it short and crisp on point give that simple prompt it will shorten your email once you have the email copy it so here's the doctor who is working in this specific company what we need to do is we don't have to text the hr obviously we can send it to the careers email id but let's say now dr nag initial is someone who is a head clinical services of india cloud nine group of hospitals a really person who can be a decision maker so what you need to do is you need to go to your gmail right or else what you can do is you can just click on message now when you click on message it will ask you to send a message we remove the subject dear Cl dear not cloud9 team dear dr nishil i am writing to express blah 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 put your name phone number email address and everything and you can just click enter and send the message now if you send these me uh, messages like this to maybe 10 people chances are that one person will reply to it it's not like they won't reply all right so this is one way of doing it like reaching out to the person who is maybe working in that company who has maybe good amount of experience and the second way would be uh, go to cloud9 hospitals website okay go to cloud9 hospitals website okay this is the website right here and you can check the location where you want to get in or pretty much anything like that come down so we don't have uh, an access so what we will do we will take this email id which is the contact email id info at cloud9care.com go to your email paste the email id so make sure your subject is very professional as well we will take this email we'll paste it here subject is inquiry you can change it use your creativity change it as to the best email id that you may give i'm sorry i think uh, the screen wasn't visible to you guys so i'll just make it big so dear cloud 19 i'm writing to express my strong interest in securing a biomedical internship at cloud 9 i'm a recent graduate again this will not be graduate i'm a like like a second year undergraduate with solid background in biomedical engineering with a deep passion for healthcare technology cloud 9's reputation blah, 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 blah. so all these things please find my resume attached for your review i'm keen to discuss how i can add value to cloud 9's mission during an internship kindly reach me at your phone number and your email id email id is not necessary because obviously you are sending it through your email id put in your resume and hit send Chances are out of 10 companies that you apply like this, uh, you will get response from let's say one or two or three companies. The more companies you apply, the more chances are there that you will get an internship. That is one way. The second platform where you can look for internships would be Internshala, like a, a wonderful platform to look for internships. Paid internships also you can get in here. What we will do is go to search and click biomedical and hit search. biotechnology biotechnology i don't think any specific internship are there for biomedical in this you can search for medicine also so medical image programming it's an internship 15 to 17 thousand stipend three months how to apply for it they have just posted it today if you guys can see right if you guys can see they have just op uh, uploaded it today immediately you can start it's three months and you will be getting paid 15 to 17 thousand for this let's click on view detail and understand what the requirement is we are a technology company providing software and hardware so it's basically like a service-based company in the medical technology domain 68 applicants have already applied there are skills which you should possess to apply for this internship you will get certificate letter of recommendation and pretty much things like that it's three month internship you have to be in office for this internship it's not a remote internship all you have to do is click apply 
once you click apply uh, obviously you will have to sign up uh, i think i have my profile i'll try logging in once and i'll show you guys like how can you stand out when you are applying for these kind of internships uh, i believe my profile is active hopefully okay hopefully it's active i'm a working professional like i'm a college student you know hindi english let it be and you can put all your interest and in pretty much things set up your profile quickly and now this is uh, the resume that intern shala makes for you you can fill all your details make your resume or else you can also post your resume here and proceed to application so now why should you be hired for this role so if you see medical image pro imaging programming internship at rugas technology private limited why do you think as an individual you should be hired for this role three things you have to keep in mind first thing always talk about the company first so we don't know about the company in detail just go to google or uh, you know go to google and search for this company once you search for this company is the company go through the company details understand what they are doing and uh, you know what kind of impact they are making in the society and once you know this once you like get an understanding about the specific thing go to chat gpt put this question and get an answer so first thing always talk about the company second talk about uh, the company's requirements for this role and third talk about your skills and how your skills are the most suitable skills for the specific role and how it can benefit the organization in long term right always you have to talk with the perspective of long term vision so that after internship you can get a uh, pre job placement offer or something like that right fill this your availability basic questions now there is some question if you don't have uh, there will be some basic activities which you have to do and upload your customized resume don't upload uh, internship resume the reason being if you are applying through internship resume most of the people who are applying they will be applying through internship resume but when you attach your external resume into this it shows that you have taken some extra efforts to put make your resume and then attach it so that the chances also increase and you also stand out from the other people who have applied and then just hit on submit once you submit immediately within one day or within two days you will get a response from these folks and uh, again apply with like five companies every day five internship opportunities every day the chances are really high that you will get hired in one of these companies in maybe one or two weeks right that is the second platform the third platform is my favorite this is how i was uh, getting internship opportunities when i was in college go to google search for medical equipment startup in bangalore you will get a list of companies top medical okay fine just open any of these link you just want to know which companies are starting off so see articulus surgical only 10 employees are there now these kind of companies are where the company wants some people to work for them at a very less price and as a startup you get to learn a lot of things they also include you in their in your in their decision making things and all those uh, aspects of that go through the website understand what the company does and always the website will have a contact number since it's a startup chances are really high that the contact number would be of the founders or the co-founders so i think you can these folks do not have the contact number so what you can do you can just fill in this form but again let's see like i'll show you a company where uh, a contact number is given uh muse diagnostics request okay yeah see right here so this contact number is given what you do is you directly call them up and tell them that you saw their website amazing technology i feel you guys are working a lot on the telemedicine side and you have a really amazing device i saw that you know it it's it's like now again when you are telling about the product mention few usps of the product and i understood that it's a long lasting pro product that you have high quality audio transfers you have and i was really keen to know more about the company being a biomedical engineering student i was interested to maybe get an internship opportunity if it's unpaid completely fine have a fruitful discussion with them it's you sh it should not be like call them hi this is uh, thomas and i'm calling because i want an internship in your company bullshit they'll cut the call and you will not get a decent answer that you're looking for so always start and make it like a conversation and chances are really high that they'll ask you for your resume and uh, they will 
give you an internship offer but again when you call what's it two two scenarios are there when you call if uh, if a receptionist or someone is talking you can just say hi this is thomas i am a biomedical engineering undergraduate student i uh, reached out to arvind badri narayan i believe who is the co-founder of the company and i wanted to have a small discussion with him regarding uh, regarding few things about the product so that you get past the gatekeeper so gatekeeper is someone who can stop you uh, as soon as you call so you have to talk to someone who is a decision maker or who is the owner of the company so that's how you uh, start the call and you eventually turn it into an internship opportunity so these are the top 3 platforms where you can search for internships first one linkedin being very creative and smart right little bit of hard work you have to do second platform being internshala a lot of opportunities are there for medical students also comparatively less but yes there are few openings for internship like we saw today apply through internshala where you can get stipend also chances are really high because most of the internship in internshala is basically paid and the third one would be google that's my favorite one wherein i cold call i directly call the company and i tell see this is the thing i went through your website and i am looking for an internship opportunity it can be paid even if it's not paid i'm completely fine because my motive is to learn more and enhance my skills being a biomedical engineering student so these are the three platforms or these are the three uh so these are the three platforms basically from where you can look for internship opportunities apply for internship opportunities and also you can get shortlisted and maybe get an internship uh, through any of these platforms so now let's say if you are applying and applying for five company reaching out to five people through linkedin you are applying for five internship opportunities in internshala and you are reaching out calling five medical companies so total 15 companies you are applying every day within a week you will be having bunch full of internships right in your hands and you just have to select which company you want to sit in for right so that's about it i know today's video is little long because i wanted to make sure that you guys understand the initial process of applying for an internship and how to go about it how to find it so that's why the video was little long but uh, as i said watch this video follow the steps you will have internship opportunities in your fingertips so i'll see you in the next video in with the next concern that you had and uh, yeah till then stay safe stay home and let's learn and grow together see you in the next video with something new and something more valuable to you guys